on March 6, 2018, at the Geneva Motor Show, Remac unveiled their new electric hypercar, the C2. The Remac C2 is a successor to the Remac Concept 1 and is only their second production vehicle. Yet, this car is at the forefront of automotive engineering with some of the most sophisticated and advanced technology ever seen on a road car. The performance of the C2 is provided by four electric motors. Each motor drives each wheel, fully independent of the other motors. Each of the two front motors uses a single speed gearbox, whereas each of the rear motors use a two speed gearbox. The motors draw their power from a 120 kilowatt hour battery and produce 1,914 horsepower and 2,300 newton meters of torque. This sheer performance allows a C2 to do 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 1.85 seconds, making it the fastest accelerating production car ever. The top speed is electronically limited to 258 miles per hour. In addition to all of this straight line speed, the C2 is capable of extreme handling capabilities due to its independent motor layout. R-AWTV, or Remac All-Wheel Torque Vectoring, is utilized in place of traction control or electronic stability control, allowing for the C2 to corner perfectly with the individual control of all four wheels at any given moment. This system can also be customized into different driving modes, depending on what the driver chooses, with everything from an oversteering supercar to an understeering Grand Tourer to an absolutely precise track monster being possible. The design of the Remax C2 is a perfect example of form following function. The design is very simple and somewhat similar to their previous car, the Concept 1, although updated and new. The car also features large opening butterfly doors to allow for easier access to the interior. The main point about the design for the C2, however, is active aerodynamics. The front vent contains active flaps that can alter the airflow to either bring larger levels of cooling or low levels of drag. The car also has an integrated active rear wing, which can raise and lower to increase downforce or decrease drag, and can even act as an air brake. The rear diffuser is also active, with a central active flap working with a flat floor to either create more downforce or reduce drag. The wheels of the C2 are also very interesting. The wheels are specifically shaped so that just enough cooling air is allowed to pass through to cool the brakes, but are otherwise covered to reduce drag. Further brake cooling comes from twin front intakes. There are also further cooling intakes on either side of the car and cooling vents next to the taillights. The C2 is also extremely low drag, with a drag coefficient of just 0.28. The Remax C2 is loaded with lots of technology. The car has 8 cameras, 2 LiDAR, 6 radar emitters, 12 ultrasonic sensors, and an IMU sensor on board, giving it the capability of level 4 autonomy. In other words, the C2 is fully capable of driving itself. The car also has various AI-enabled ADAS functions, including collision risk prediction connected to automatic braking and evasion control, blind spot monitoring, lane keep assist, and fully adaptive cruise control with traffic pilot functionality. The car also has a 620 km range on a single charge. The autonomous driving technology can also be utilized on a racetrack in the form of the driving coach function, where the autonomous technologies offer guidance to the driver on racing lines, braking and accelerating points, and steering inputs. The interior of the car has an interesting interface composed of six total screens, with a mixture of rotary controls and digital touchscreen displays conveying information to the driver and co-driver. The C2 also uses facial recognition of the driver to unlock and open the car. The interior features fully adjustable electric seats and a fully adjustable electric steering column to allow for maximum comfort. 
The car also has a decent amount of storage space with a multi-configurable rear storage compartment that is directly behind the driver and co-driver seats. The Remax C2 is built in the Remax factory which is located on the outskirts of Zagreb, Croatia. The chassis is composed of a carbon fiber monocoque and the body panels are also carbon fiber. The C2 is entirely designed and built in-house by Remax and a total of 150 C2s will be made. What do you guys think of the new Remax C2? Let me know down below in the comments and make sure to like and subscribe. This is Hewitt Cherry and I'm out of here. An important side note for anyone who speaks Croatian. I am sorry if I have mispronounced the words Remak or Zagreb. I do not speak Croatian and I assure you that I am trying the best I can to pronounce those words correctly.